These are the things you need for project number one. Hi to everyone from Polehampton and from all of those out there that are listening and watching us. Um, my name's Rebecca and I run the Paint and Create class and this is our first um, podcast that we're going to do today. Um, we've got Eve next to me and Elian and they're going to be doing it too. Okay, so you've got your things, your equipment that you, that's ready. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get hold of some glossy magazines and we're going to look for some bright colours all the way through. So girls, if you want to get have a little look through, look for some bright colours and we're going to start cutting out um, little areas which we think will be good for our collage that we're going to make today. So what I'm going to do First of all, I'll show you that. So I'm looking for little areas that are bright colour. See if you can make those. And then, the best thing I've done is I've got hold of lots of different little cups and pots. And in each pot, I've put different colours. Okay, so. We're going to be separating the colours out so that we've got different squares to, to use. Um, so if you're doing this with really little children, obviously you can cut, cut the squares out, but see if you can get them to arrange the colours into different pots. And if we've got no green, we can make a green if you like, you just do an extra green pile there. Okay, so what you want to do is chop up your magazines and get it to the point where you've got, you know, quite a lot of um, squares in each cup so that you've got a really good selection. Okay girls, so just keep looking through, find any interesting patterns on them quite nice to have nice bright colours and you can do this with if you haven't got magazines you can do it with old bits of wrapping paper and um, you can do it with um, newspapers um, coloured paper if you really haven't got any anything at home but the nice thing about using using magazines is you get a lovely texture. I'll show that to the camera. So you can get a really nice texture there, which you wouldn't get with just a plain piece of paper. Our idea for today is that we want to create a rainbow and we're going to stick it in our front window. Um, now, if you want to do the same, we would love to see your pictures. So anyone that's done a rainbow, it doesn't matter if it's made of collage, or paint, or, or colouring pens, whatever you've got at home. Take a photo of it and post it on our site. We would love to see it. And what we'll do is at the end of our next session, we'll show all the pictures from children that have sent them in. So that would be great. Right, so what you should have now is lots and lots of pots of little tiny bits of paper all separated out into different colours. Um, what I find at this point is really good to do is get a piece of paper out, just weight it down. I, I'm using um, one of these rolls of paper which you can get from um, somewhere like the Works or Hobbycraft. Um, but if you don't have that kind of thing, normal printer paper is fine and just stick two pieces together side by side. Um, here you go, that's the size of a normal printer piece of paper. Then just stick two pieces together and you've got a nice big piece of paper to work on. Okay, so Eve, you're going to draw out a rainbow. Now we've got seven different colours, so we'll need seven stripes. So... Start with a nice small semicircle, 
and you probably want to make each stripe about that big like not much more than that so Eve's going to draw out the whole thing and then divide it into seven I guess yeah, yeah. cool um, and then Elian, we're going to start looking at what colour we want to do first. So some people say red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. That's me. Um, what is it you say, girls? Red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple and pink. Well, there you go. So what are we going to do today? Red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple and pink. So in that case, we're going to need the most of red um so make sure we've got lots and lots of red pieces i think this is our reds um, yeah, and you can start just um get yourself some glue sticks um these are super cheap you can get them down in um newbury's in twyford or if you're watching from scotland like some of our friends might be um hopefully you've got somewhere local nearby that you can get hold of a few supplies um okay so arm yourselves with a Pritt stick and if it helps you can write on the strip what colour you're doing so everyone doesn't get confused so we're going to write ours down we're going red orange, orange yellow, yellow green, green blue, blue purple purple and pink. Fantastic. Okay. Right. We might do the next bit in speedy form. Right, so we have stuck all our pieces down and hopefully it should look all right. Let's hold it up, girls. Here we go. So as you can see, it's our rainbow. We've finished. Now it's time to stick it up in our window. Now, if anyone else has any pictures they'd like to, to send in, please do. We'd love to see them. So for me... Elian and Eve, it's goodbye for now, but keep in touch with us and show us and send us your pictures. Bye!